Hi, Senator Lincoln Fillmore. Today I'm coming to you from a Capitol Committee room. Normally, these rooms hold about 60 to 70 members of the public. This year, we're down to holding only 18. But it's really great to see so many of you participating in the legislative process online. And I'm so glad that the technology exists so that, uh, that you can still have direct view and direct influence on the legislation that we pass. I want to talk to you about some things uh, that we've done this week. It was a really successful week for the legislation that I've been working on. I had several bills pass committee. Uh, in fact, some that I thought would be pretty controversial have turned out to be not so much. Um, I'm really grateful for that, and I think it shows how the legislative process can work when you involve all different sides on an issue early on in the process to build consensus. One of those things we were able to build consensus on this year is the restoration of what's called the dependent child tax exemption. Utah has always had something of a child tax credit so that families with kids get support and uh, don't have to pay exorbitantly high taxes because their children are going to grow up and support all of us in our old age. But in 2017, the US Congress passed a major tax reform bill that changed definitions that caused a major tax increase for Utah families. And I've been working with several other legislators for four years to be able to restore that tax benefit to Utah families. And this year looks like the year we'll be able to do it. Senate Bill 153 passed earlier this week through the Senate. It's uh, over in the House. And I imagine that that will pass and be part of an overall tax cut package that I think will be north of $100 million this year, for which I'm very grateful. So thank you for your involvement there. Thank you for your involvement overall. I want to point out something to you. Many of you know you got my survey in the mail or responded to it online. This year, we had more than 1,000 responses, both online and in mail. And that's a record. Last year, I thought, was, was big when we had between seven and 800 responses. But this year, we've had over 1,000. And having that sort of feedback from you is really helping me represent you better. The number one issue that you stated was COVID and the state's response to managing COVID in Utah. And there's news on that score too. Um, really, since last June, the legislature has been in negotiations with the governor. And by the way, 70% of you noted on those survey responses that you want the legislature to address the issue of emergency powers in consultation with the governor. And so we've been doing that. And uh, I think it was Friday of last week, Senate Bill 195 was released publicly. And that is, at this point, a negotiated bill between the legislative and the executive branches for how emergency powers will operate in the future, severely limited, most importantly, with citizen involvement and legislative oversight, which has been missing so far. Uh, I'm really glad that that's coming forth, but I want your feedback about it. So take a look at it. It's Senate Bill 195. It's sponsored by Senator Vickers, and I'd love to have your feedback. It probably will come before the Senate for a vote next week, and so I'd love to hear from you about it over the weekend. Um, also, in response to COVID, uh, just today, I passed on the Senate floor um, Senate Bill 178, which provides school districts greater flexibility uh, in how they use money in response to the COVID-19. You know, just, it's just impacted everything. We basically have told schools this year, reinvent education, deal with all the changing circumstances that change, not only from month to month, but sometimes from day to day, going in school and online and um, uh, Re reshuffling all their personnel. We wanted to make sure that schools had the flexibility to be able to respond. Thank you for all of your responses to me. I've been able to respond to more than a thousand emails so far this legislative session. I hope you'll keep those coming as new bills come up that grab your interest and you want to let me know what you think. I really appreciate your feedback. My cell phone number and email address are on the screen. I look forward to hearing from you over the final two weeks of this year's legislative session. Thank you so much.